What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Joker50X coming to you today with a new Build a Hero episode two. Uh, today's video, the video that's gonna be playing in the background, is gonna be pretty much the first story mission that you have to do, which consists of you fighting Raditz and helping Piccolo and Goku. Now, while that is playing in the background, I'm gonna be discussing um, some of my plans for my channel on top of um, some guides I'm gonna be making for helping people get certain skills in Xenoverse 1. For those that may not be aware of how things have changed, you cannot get the same, you cannot get the skills that you got in Xenoverse 1 the same way as you did in Xenoverse 1. Clearly, there's gonna be some differences. And recently, I just discovered one of the moves that you got with, um, that you got from Gotenks when training with him. You actually get it from a mission now. And this move used to be very heavily used because you could teleport to your opponent and just smash them with a combo. So I'm gonna save the explanation of what that video is for another move, another video. So be on the lookout for that. And um, yeah, so without further ado, Majin Mucanex is gonna just put in some work against Red to show that he's not a level five scum. I really feel like my Majin character should be my tank simply because, I mean, look at Majin Buu. He was a freaking monster, literally. The dude had, we don't know how much health Majin Buu had in real, well, in the manga or anime, but they had a hard time getting rid of just Fat Buu. And then when he came to Super Buu, they had even more trouble. Kid Buu was probably the shortest lived Majin, but he was probably the wildest, which makes him more dangerous. Super Buu was more collected and, um, more humane so to speak and fat boo was childish and carefree so i, I want my i want my jimugan x to kind of be like a a small childish carefree character so which is why i made him so small and um the skill set i'm gonna use for him i'm gonna change it up um i haven't thought of like a ultimate that i want to use that's gonna be like his signature ultimate but it's probably gonna be assaulting rain which is pretty much what um if, if you know from the previous like older Dragon Ball Z games, Super Buu had this move called Genocide Bomb or Genocide Blast or something like that. The thing from uh, the, the Buu Saga, the Buu arc, where he st stuck his hand up in the air and he just rained down Energy Blast at home then and killed everyone on Earth. The move is super powerful. I've been using it on my Saiyan and the animation for it is just simply dope. I love it. And I mean, if it looks dope on my Saiyan, I feel like it'll look even more natural on my Majin. So I'm actually looking forward to putting that on him whenever I hop back on that character. But um, I already have another character in the making, which is my human character, because I want to get every transformation for each race so I can see like what, what's better, what, 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 what's what, pretty much. We know that the Golden Freezer race transformation, it pretty much does a boost to your basic key attacks, which isn't so great. I thought it would boost like your key attacks in general, not just your basic ones. But I mean, the damage that it does for a charged key attack, it's pretty phenomenal, honestly. It does about the same as a super attack. So you could have probably all physical super attacks if you wanted to. And then just if you're a freezer race, just use your golden form perform blast attacks because like i said the charge one does about the same amount of damage as a um super attack which is pretty which is pretty useful in a sense but um i i still personally i want my my freezer race character to be mainly key which is what i build him around so he's a force to be reckoned reckon with really like i i could go into um a very high level parallel quest and just do i could put in a lot of work because my character deals a lot of damage. Meanwhile, my Saiyan is my balance character. Like, overall, I probably should have made him a strength character, but he's my overall character. And he can do both key and physical damage at a phenomenal rate. Like, it's, I'm really baffled about, like, how much damage my character can deal both ways as a Saiyan. And then equipped with Super Vegeta, he's just even more of a threat. And then if I switch that up and go to Super Saiyan, the normal Super Saiyan, which allows you to go up to Super Saiyan 3, he's even more of a threat. So my Saiyan character is super versatile. And I kind of want my human to be that all-out just physical character. Why? I'm not really sure, but I mean, I just do. Humans are highly like looked down upon in the Dragon Ball Z series. So I want my human to probably be like, my okay, I'm gonna do a ranked match. I can just wreck this guy with physical attacks and 
um, physical supers, and then when I finish them off with a dragon fist, it's, it's just over and done with. It's a done deal. So that's probably gonna be my setup for my my human. Um, and uh, lastly, like I said, Majin Mucanex is gonna be primarily my um my help my my tank. He's gonna be able to deal damage, but he's also gonna be able to take a lot of damage. Like he he'll be able to sustain a lot more than most characters. Now, when I had this in mind, I probably should have made him a bit larger, considering that your size actually determine your hitting stats. Had I made him a like tall and super wide, I feel like he would have um one did more damage. Well, he would have did more damage, but I feel like he would have been more tanky. Like I feel like his defensive stats would have naturally been higher, but. It's, I don't like like recreating my characters too often or I don't really like um what's the word I'm looking for wasting a wish to redo my stats or redo my build so I I just try to stick with what I have and I mean come on who who wouldn't want a small tank on their team like you got this little ass pinto bean looking mod and just wrecking shit and putting in hella work and every, let's say everyone goes down Guess who's alive? That Majin, who can heal everybody because he is a tank with tons of health. So, yeah. Hopefully that works out. And, um, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to unlock every skill in the game. Well, I didn't say that before, but I am trying to unlock every skill in the game. I've made three wishes for ultimate moves so far. And the first one gave... What did the first one give me? The first one gave me Hits Attack, uh, Time Molotov. The second one gave me... Um, Nova Shenron and Air Shenron super attack, which was the Ice Beam and uh, Flaming Spin, I think that's what it's called. And then the third one just gave me Omega Shenron's ultimate. So I'm gonna collect the Dragon Balls again and see what my next ultimate is. And yeah, next from there, I'm gonna start wishing for my super attacks. I probably should record though so people can see what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if the order changes. Or if it's random, like which ultimate you get based on the wish. But I'm going to have to look into that. So without further ado, I'm going to allow you guys to enjoy the rest of this video. And if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. Let me know that you, that you guys really do enjoy the video. And as always, it was your boy Joker850X and we are out. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.